Yo, if you like the video, press on that like button. I see you there. Why are you not pressing on it? Come on, you're making your boy, you know, getting some reach out there. Even though it's kind of like shameful plug, it's not shameless plug anymore. But I need it and help me around. Come on, if you found this video helpful and you are going to get this PC, subscribe to see more gaming PC builds that make you regret getting that one. And let's get to it. All right, so how's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing. I hope you're all doing. Great. I'm okay in case you're wondering, but I've been having a lot of problems. That's why I haven't been uploading frequently. And there are some projects that I was trying to work on and get done, but I haven't. And also, there are like a lot of college work that's been behind that I need to finish. Hey, enough of that. For today's build, we're looking at an $800 no compromises gaming pc so for 800 bucks you're getting a really good pc that can play games at 1080p 144 frame rates stable locked if these are like fps intensive games in a game like fortnite you will be hovering around 240 frame rates but when it comes to like the intensive end games and stacked end games you'll be around 140 to 120 because it doesn't make a lot of sense for me you know when you get a 240 hertz display which is for like 600 bucks and you pair it with like an 800 dollars pc this is some type of bottleneck that not a lot of people discuss and any game you throw at it like red dead redemption and these really gpu intensive games you'll be running fine at 1080p and you'll even get 60 frames per second and a lot of like pretty much every single title that's super gpu intensive for the cpu come on you know what we're going with yes it's the ryzen 5 3600 there's a reason why people still recommend this cpu it's really good it provides a lot of value for money it's not that different from the i5 10400 but that's when we're not looking at fortnite and you're also like not being bottlenecked and it's gonna give you like some really good performance when it comes to streaming you can stream at 720p or even 1080p but i don't know that yet i'll leave some links on people who tried to stream on 1080p which is steady gaming it's a really cool channel you should check it out and when it comes to these other cpu intensive tasks this cpu will rock it no problem you know when it comes to adobe premiere blender all these really intensive stuff going on uh, this cpu will handle no problem you know it's a six cores 12 threaded cpu and that's the advantage that it has over the ryzen 3 3300x so if your pc is more focused on gaming and some productivity it's better for you to go with that cpu over the ryzen 3 3300x in my opinion and it's not anywhere in stock so yeah for 160 dollars that means like 40 or 45 dollars difference between the 3300x which is not anywhere right now i guess that's a really good deal and it's a lot of great value for money and the reason that you would go for amd is just to upgrade to the ryzen 4000 series in the future and this cpu will hold you fine until then for the board we're looking at a lot of options because they usually go out of stock you got the gigabyte b450 mds 3h it's not in stock now but it's a really good basic board it's got everything you need but right now we're looking at the ASRock B450M, which is an 80 to 85 dollars board that's got also the same features that the Gigabyte B450M has, and all these boards support up to DDR4 3600 and megahertz, no problem. So you cannot go wrong with any of the bunch, but it depends on what's in stock right now. So what's in stock right now is the ASRock one. You can overclock the CPU. It's Ryzen 4000 series ready. There is that really cool looking board, which is the Asus Stuff B450M. It's a black board with some gold accents around it. So I like it a lot, but it's for $90. And also, if you're watching this video on like mid-June, which is like a week or two from now, B550M boards are in stock right now. So also, it's okay to go with B550M boards if you find anything for around 100 bucks, in my opinion but you cannot go wrong with any option in my opinion as for the ram we're looking at g skill rip jaws 16 gigabytes ddr4 ram rated at 3600 megahertz so you are like stretching the ryzen 5 3600 to its kind of maximum potential right there i mean 3600 megahertz is more than enough because these ryzen cpus benefit a lot from ram frequency and ram timings so these G-Skill ones are really good for the price, it's for $70, and it's 16 gigs, and you have the option to upgrade to 32 gigs in the future, because there are extra freedom slots, and you cannot go wrong at all, even though games are getting more demanding, but it's good for the money. For the storage, we're looking at two options, but it depends if you want to go over the budget or not. You can either go with the Silicon Power M.2 SSD, and M.2 SSDs are really good for the prices for like 115 bucks. It's a one terabyte SSD. If you don't want to go over the budget by that much, you can get the SATA SSD, which is for like $93. So we're looking at 22 bucks difference there, which makes a ton of difference if you're on a tight budget. But there's only minor differences when it comes to comparing M.2 SSDs to SATA SSDs. I will add the M.2 SSD 
to this parts list because it makes your pc lighter when it comes to it as for the gpu we got two options for you but my favorable option which is the amd arc 5600 xt and when you look at it it's like a gdx 1660 super on steroids i mean you're getting that rtx 2060 performance on these gpu intensive games but these games that are more like nvidia biased like fortnite and apex legends or maybe just nvidia are so good at with their drivers even though I suspect that you are going to get that GDX 6060 super performance or even better. So a game like Fortnite, you can play it at around 240 FPS, but not stable. A game like Apex Legends, you're going to get a lot of performance really good. But when it comes to Warzone, you're actually getting this stable 144 uh, framers experience close to that. And these GPU intensive games like Red Dead Redemption at 1080p ultra settings, you are going to get around 60 frames per second. So yeah, it's a really good GPU for the price, but make sure you flash the device to that 14 gigabyte per second. So I will leave a link down below on how to actually flash the device. It, it's not dangerous. It will not void your warranty because the manufacturer of the GPU itself is who is recommending you to do that. But make sure you're flashing like from their official website and you are flashing the same freaking GPU model that you got. So yeah, it's a really good GPU for 280 bucks. It was a new work for 265 bucks, which makes it a great value for money GPU. If you want a GPU that's better for streaming because of that NVIDIA NVENC encoder, you can go with the RTX 2060, but we're looking at 50 bucks different. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Now for the case, we're looking at the Aerocool Cyclone Mini, which is a white case. And finally, there are white cases in stock right now for cheap. <laughs> I really like white cases, guys. It's for around 55 bucks. So you're getting like a really good looking case with that RGB LED panel on the front. It's comparable to the Q300L, but the Q300L isn't anywhere in stock now. I'll leave the two options for you, but I would go with the Aerocool Cyclone Mini because, again, I like white so much and it's got good airflow. It's really good looking and uh, yeah, I like it a lot. As for the power supply, we're looking at the Thermal Take Smart 500 watt 80 plus power supply. It's for like 50 bucks and power supply prices are so high right now for no reason. So yeah, you can upgrade to the future to like another GPU like the RTX 2070 Super, no problem. And for $50, it's a great steal and Thermaltake is a really trusted brand. That's been it. If you like that video, press that like button. If you want to see more videos of that kind, come on, subscribe. What's freaking holding you back? And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, but which will be like in a week or two from now because I have a lot of college work to finish and a lot of projects that I'm working on and I just want to focus on them and get things done. So I'll see you in the next one and peace.